Hi, my name is Curtis Heimerl, and I'm here to demonstrate the MetaMouse software for you. Uh, the basic premise behind MetaMouse is that there's a wide variety of single-player educational software written in the world. Thousands of educational games across many, many languages. Um, and the, as an example, we have Modi's Lessons on Safety, a single-player educational game from the Asim Premji Foundation uh, in India. Uh, and so this is just a normal single-player game, and you see a single mouse. Uh, the problem with these games are that, you know, they expect a single user at a single computer, at this one-to-one -one interaction. And what you see in the developing world is not that. You see two to five kids per computer. In fact, many kids have never used a computer on their own. Um, and these games, although, you know, possibly very effective in terms of education, uh, are less effective in these sharing motives. Uh, what you have is, you know, one dominant user will come in and control the mouse and say, hey, I want to play this game in English, and just click. You know, taking no feedback from the other users, or on an answer, or any one of these things. And the other users are going to be less involved, and pay less attention, and learn less. Uh, even in an egalitarian sharing situation, where you're able to hand the mouse equally among students, uh, it's, it, it's just the fact that if the student doesn't have direct control of the application, they're going to pay less attention. They'll turn their head, look at their friends, talk to their friends, any one of these things, and they just learn less. Um, so MetaMouse attempts to solve this problem uh, by giving each user their own mouse. And so we're going to run this exact same game uh, in MetaMouse. Uh, so I wish to reemphasize that this works with any uh, existing content or any game. There's no rewriting of this particular Asm Premg game, and we could have shared Solitaire if we wanted, and Microsoft's not giving me code for that. So anyway, what you'll see now are two cursors instead of just the single one. Uh, and in this case, that's because we have two mice plugged into this computer. Uh, we've shared up to five mice or per computer uh, in a study in India, and they ran out of table space for all the mice before we started having any concerns on our end. So you should be able to share uh, as many mice as you as you can fit. Um, so this is only the first wrinkle though. Now we each have their own mice in, in, you know, this previously single player game, but you still have bullies. You still have dominance. You still have all of these problems. And so what we've done is we've tried to encourage collaboration among the users. And to demonstrate that, you can see the blue user trying to click on the English button uh, on their own. And you'll see the red X appear, which signals to the user that that's not correct. Uh, and instead what needs to happen is that the users need to work together to come to an answer. And that's signaled by the mice turning green. And uh, this is done via location. When the mice are close together, uh, the system knows that they're agreeing on an answer. And once you agree, you're able to click and make progress. And so we'll skip ahead here and start as well. And we'll skip ahead to the first game. Uh, the premise of this game is that you, the users need to find either some dangerous objects in the household, either electrical objects or sharp objects, depending on the flashing light at the top. And so again, we can show that the users no longer are in single control, but instead in a group control, where each, each user is involved and is directly controlling the application, but not on their own. Uh, so right now, the blue user may be really pushy and want to click on the television, even though it's the wrong answer, um, and they're not able to. And likewise, the yellow user might be bully and want to click on the knife, even though it's the right answer. But instead, the two users need to communicate and come to an, uh, an answer on their own, or come to an answer as a group. And once they do that, uh, the system recognizes it and allows them to click, and in which case, the answer goes through. Um, so we did a study uh, in, with the Asim Premji Foundation, the developer of this particular software in India, and we showed that the users uh, paid more attention, uh, collaborated more, discussed more, uh, and the users that were slower, who often were shoved to the side, uh, you know, if, if you're not as good at the mouse, the other users will very quickly take the mouse away from you because you're just slowing it down for everyone. But those users benefited greatly, learning new mouse skills and catching up in a way that they just weren't able to with a, a normal sharing of, of one single mouse. Um, MetaMouse, so th this is the basic premise behind MetaMouse. You're able to share any existing software as though it was already written for multiple mice with no modification. Um, MetaMouse is available at metamouse.sourceforge. Uh, you can Google for that. Uh, and thanks.